everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Mark Kane. I'm a uh, resident of Danbury uh, and the father of uh, uh, six-year-old uh, David King, who is a first grader at Pembroke. Uh, we've had a running issue with uh, uh, our desire to change the bus stop, which meets about 50 yards below our our uh, house. Uh, I've talked with uh, Mr. Longo uh, repeatedly. Um, he has, uh, you know, engaged with me and, and uh, has done a, a, a site uh, inspection. I cited uh, specifically three uh, criteria from your own transportation guidelines on what constitutes a hazard. Uh, specifically, A3, uh, no traffic lights or stop signs at the bus stop. Uh, B1, there is no walkway on either side of the road. Uh, 2A, line of sight issues, there are large trees, uh, shrubs on this winding uh, hilly road. I, I think these are fairly objective uh, criteria. And uh, basically what I got was, was uh, I, I didn't come to the same conclusions. I've had nothing in writing. Uh, so I, I, the reality is my wife and I leave uh, work at 6.30. Uh, we, we, are, we have a, a one-year-old, our babysitter, cannot constantly wait there for 45, sometimes half an hour, 40 minutes for the bus to come or to drop them off. It is a minimal requirement to, to have uh, the, the bus stop, where, which my son is the only you know, six-year-old. And that's another issue in the transportation guidelines concerning what constitutes a hazard. The fact that he's under the age of eight, uh, he, you know, he can't, we, we can't leave him there by himself. Uh, so we're, we've just been trying to do that. He, there has been a, uh, a compromise. The bus is now coming up there uh, to our house, but they're only going to do that until November 1st. And then they will reinstitute again sometime in May, they said, or April. And this, I feel, is very unacceptable. And uh, I'm just wondering if you, you know, follow your own transportation guidelines, because I think it's fairly obviously it, it putting the, the safety of my both my sons in, in jeopardy and I, and I was hoping to request a you know a further hearing or something because I, I uh, it's it's become uh, a running issue for us and uh, that's essentially it so thank you for your time I, and I am planning because I, I do think our request is reasonable I'm going to be going to some, some local meeting and I, I just want to get this uh, looked at fairly because I you know, I, I think it's a very reasonable uh, request. And I, this is a copy of a letter that I sent to Mr. Longo. And he has responded, but, but uh, still, I haven't gotten anything in writing. And, and uh, the compromise is still, I don't think, adequate enough because sometimes we wait an hour. You know, and I talk with the manager of the bus, the bus company, and, uh, you know, it's just, I know they have high roll, you know, turnover rate, but, but still the safety of my, my uh, Sons, I think is, is fairly important to me. And, and again, it's a, I cited four different criteria in the own, you know, your own transportation guidelines, and I, I just still don't feel like it's been adequately addressed. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. King.